Hey guys, it's Tiana. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I just want to give you guys a little update on what today's video is going to be. Basically, today is my first day off work since I went back. I basically took kind of like a two-week vacation from my waitressing job. I was still taking lash clients during that time. I got to go up and see my dad in Toronto and my sisters that live up there as well. It was a really nice break. But now, snapping back into reality, I'm back to work full-time, but there's so much stuff at home that I just kind of left and said I would do it later. Today we're tackling that. This is a little get out of a funk kind of video with me because I'm in a funk. You know when like your room is just a mess, you know you have so many chores to do, you just keep saying you'll do it later and then it's just like weighing on your shoulders of knowing it needs to get done but you have no motivation to do it. If I have a camera on me, that's a lot more motivation and accountability. In a sense, it makes me feel like I have to get it done because people are watching. I just got done my lash appointment and it is literally a snowstorm today three weeks since my last lash fill so I had to come get them done or else I wouldn't be getting them done for another two weeks of course I had to stop for bubble tea why wouldn't I Okay guys, I'm home now. The drive home was so scary. Like, I don't know if you guys understand how bad the weather is out today, but the roads are so slippery. Every turn I took, I felt like I was going to slide off the road. And to make things even worse, I stopped at my uncle's work because I had to drop off just something that he'd left in town when he was here for Christmas. And the parking lot, which I didn't know this, it's like, first of all, all covered in snow, which is fine, whatever. But the parking spot that I parked in, there was no car ahead of me. I'm going to just pull out of the parking lot when I'm ready to leave. I didn't know that all the way down, they have like those median, the skinny median things. Because there's so much snow in the parking lot, you can't see them. So I go to pull forward, just drive through, you know, a clear way instead of backing up and like sliding around, I'll just drive right through. And I I drive over top of one of those median things so yeah uh sounded like the whole bottom of my car is just scraped and ruined but my car's going to the shop later this week anyway should be fine but now that i'm home safe i want to get right to work cleaning my room first i want to throw in some laundry i have clothes that i thrifted a few weeks ago now by the time you guys see this I've just been sitting in a bag so i want to wash those so that i can actually start wearing them i got a very late christmas present that just came in my mom customized me a pair of nike shoes so we're going to unbox those right now i think they are nike air forces i don't know if i said that already oh here we go These were customized by my mom for me for Christmas and they just came in really late. They're like purple and pink. They're so pretty. So the next task I'm looking to complete today, first I wanna make my bed because I haven't made my bed in probably two days. I know it sounds terrible. I am just not used to my routine yet. I gotta get back into it. I gotta focus. I gotta get done what I need to get done. So you guys are gonna help me. I'm making my bed. I'm really happy that I think it was Christmas day actually. I washed all my sheets, all my pillows, all of that stuff. And then since I've been gone like to my dad's for so long, I think I've only actually slept in my bed two nights since I've washed my sheets. So my sheets are nice and clean. I'm so excited. Maybe three nights I've slept in my bed. My bed is nice and made now. I already feel like my room is 10 times cleaner, so that is great. Okay, next let's dive right into my suitcase, I guess, which I've already been like partially unpacking just by taking out a few things at a time as I need it, but can't live like that. So let's unpack everything properly. Okay, I also am gonna take my clothes hamper out of my closet, just sit it over here so I can just throw dirty things in it as we're going. I'm gonna put my hair up. Oh, it's actually a little hot in here. Okay, let's do this. So anything that needs to be put away, I'm just gonna sit there and then I'll sort it after. If I know it's not dirty or I only wore it like once or for half a day, I usually overpack. So I know a lot of this stuff I didn't even end up wearing while I was at my dad's. Okay, first suitcase is emptied and this probably won't be packed up again until February, Jess and I have a little trip, so. I won't be using this till February. It's just gonna be put away in my closet instead of left out. 
I actually really like this suitcase. I only recently invested in a suitcase probably like, I don't know, three, four months ago now. I'm really happy with it. I like it, except one of the zippers broke. And I lost the warranty paper that I have. So. That's always nice. I'm gonna put on my Christmas sweaters. They're like in the front of my closet right now. They're gonna go to the back of my closet because I won't be wearing them for a while, obviously. Hang these so. Okay, there's just too much stuff. So that's my purse, which will go in my closet. of the day do you guys call it lip gloss or sorry not lip gloss lip chap or lip uh what's the word oh lip lip chap or chapstick i guess this would be lip chap because it's not a stick so it can't be chapstick but just in general do you guys use the term lip chap or chap chapstick this video might carry into tomorrow because i do want to go to the grocery store and pick up some like just necessities like i think i left my lotion in the hotel we went to for new year's eve possibly because i can't find it anywhere but i'm not sure we'll see okay next we're going to go put this laundry in i don't think there's laundry in right now but someone else might have theirs in okay laundry is currently being used but we're going to switch it over for them TikToks where it's like people say go to hell but my washer and dryer line up like this and then it's the audio like I'm already there that's so funny yes my Christmas tree is still up and that needs to be taken down I don't know if that's a task for tonight or tomorrow so my laundry's in i have most of my things put away now i think i'm gonna go do the dishes and i'll probably take a shower i have a little bit of organizing i want to do to my room as well as vacuum so maybe i should do that first and my room's like all clean and comfy when i come in here to relax i want to do a nice face mask and just you know have some recording equipment and stuff well I also have this Santa Claus dude who doesn't need to be out, so he's gonna be put away for this season. Um, but yeah, I have some recording stuff that I'm not using at this moment, so that's gonna be put into a box. So let me find a box to put that stuff in. This table, I'm gonna actually move back out to the living room because it does take up a lot of room in my bedroom, and when I'm not actively using it, I don't really need it in here. I have this little picture frame that has a water chestnuts recipe in it. I framed it because I thought it was too cute. It was like part of my Christmas gift. I don't like water chestnuts wrapped in bacon, if you guys are wondering, but my grandma made them before. And then now it's like our little joke. So I have to find a good spot for this in my room. There's a corner of my last room that has room for this, so. My water chestnut recipe is going right there. Cute. These go in the kitchen. <laughs> Baby, I love myself. I don't know. Leave me here by myself. I'm heavily debating taking the Christmas tree down just because I feel like it'll be really nice to just get it over with but maybe I just wait till tomorrow because I'm gonna get tired and want to eat dinner soon 
Oh yeah, I forgot I want to wipe down the countertops in my bathroom So we're gonna do that as well as like get rid of this empty bottle and add it to my hygiene list And empty that garbage like I said, I've been away for the last two weeks. So things have uh, just kind of been sitting these are like scented ones. I think they're green apple and they're from the dollar store. I'm gonna figure out how to clean this mirror. Let's tackle the shower. I do have to replace my shaving cream because I'm out. That'll be later this week. I'm doing a hygiene vlog. There we go. Shower's nice and clean now. I'm gonna tackle the toilet and then the mirror. I actually get these from the dollar store. They're fresh scent and they're just the wet sweeping cloth. There's 18 of them. They're cheaper than the Swiffer brand. They work. Lay it flat on the floor and then you attach your mop head. Okay, I'm so excited to have a nice relaxing shower. I'd have a bath, but my skin prunes up way too fast to have a bath, so. I like to have my hair up when I shower, one, because, duh, but two, because when I get my braids wet, the water like sits in them for so long, so unless I'm actually washing my scalp, I really try to avoid getting my braids wet. I feel so nice and clean in my nice room. I'm going to lotion my body, and then we're gonna do some face care. I'm in my cute little satin or silk robe, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be moisturizing with this coconut milk um, and vitamin E lotion. I use these triple action oxy pads on my skin. I use this Dove Original deodorant. I also use this nude um, kind of oil after I shave anywhere. It helps with razor bumps and razor burns and ingrown hairs. I'm going to do all of that and check back in with you guys in a moment. So I have this basket of all these different types of masks and like kind of beauty products, I guess. So I want to do a lip mask. So I think I'm going to use this one that I got for Christmas and a face mask. I want to do one of the sheet masks. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, before the mask, I'm going to use my little lipstick kind of shaver looking thing. And I'm just going to do my upper lip and eyebrows. All right, let's try this face mask. I'm gonna try my best not to get it on my eyelashes. I'm wondering if I can do the face mask and the lip mask at the same time. If so, that's what I'm gonna do. It's five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. <gasps> Alexa, stop. Time to take this off. I should read the instructions. Do you moisturize this into your face when you take it off, or do you go wash it off? Ask and massage any excess product into the skin. No need to rinse. Then for five minutes, then remove and massage any excess so we don't rinse. So I'll have a nice, fresh, glowy face. Lips first. And it actually, funny enough, didn't get onto my lashes. So my lashes are a little bit um, kind of clumped together from the shower, but I'm gonna use the mini fan that I have to dry my skin as well as dry and brush out my lashes too. So one thing I have to do is just clean around my piercing hair because it's still healing. So I'm gonna use like the saline and clean around it just from any product that would have got on that. Okay. 
okay y'all this is how we're looking i feel cute i feel refreshed i feel nice and clean i didn't put any body spray on though and i always wear body spray like all times of the day so now i'm using the warm vanilla sugar i've been using this one for a while but i need to restock up shortly now it is time for dinner i'm gonna put some comfy sweatpants on and head upstairs to visit the family and have something to eat Tomorrow. Hey YouTube and kind of good morning. It's almost one o'clock. I work at two. Dry and I are going to go grab some food and just kind of visit and relax before I have to go into work. I have a little bit of running around to do. I have to go get like iced coffee and creamer and stuff because I don't have any in my fridge and I've been trying to make iced coffees at home. But since I went to my dad's, I made sure I drank the rest of what I had since I was going to be gone for two weeks. That's one of the only times I've went into a store looking for one thing and only bought the one thing that I was getting. I am trying a new creamer. Well, this is coffee enhancer, but it is a cinnamon latte flavor. I personally like really just like a plain like iced coffee like you would get from Tim Hortons or Wendy's, but I don't think it hurts to try something new. We'll see if I don't like it. I will just have to go and buy regular like double double, which is usually what I get for creamer. But I don't know. I think this might be good and I don't make iced coffees at home all the time. It's just for like if I'm in a rush and I know I don't have time to stop. Now we're going to head to get something to eat and then I'm gonna head to work. I think we're gonna get Wendy's so I can get an iced coffee because I'm not going home to make one. Iced coffee of course. I want to eat my things before they get soggy so let's get it on here. Yeah they messed up what we ordered and then they whatever I don't know. There's not even pork. Mm -hmm. I have to dig my fingers in this to eat it. Oh. Is there a pork in there? A few minutes later. Okay, I start work in like 25 minutes and I heavily debated if now is the right time. But what better time to have the Christmas tree already taken down when I get home from work? Such a relief. I have a lash client after work, then I just have to put laundry away. But like this, sorry, I, the lighting is not cooperating. This has been <clears throat> a very nice reset, get out of a funk with me, help me get shit done. You guys think we could take this tree down in seven minutes? We did that in five minutes and 22 seconds. 143. I have to be to work by 150. So, oh, I'm out of breath though. That was fun. I'm, I'm proud of us. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna put away Black Santa. Six and a half hours later. Hey guys, so I did just want to say I got home from work a little. Alexa, pause. I just want to say I got home from work a couple of hours ago. I put away my laundry and have just been doing some editing, but I'm going to end the video off here because this video could honestly go on forever of you guys just watching me do chores and housework. I do feel so much better. I got so much stuff done the last two days. Nothing weighing on my shoulders right now, and that's going to... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe down below as well as give this video a thumbs up to let me know you liked it. Leave me a comment uh, in the comment section. No, you don't have to do that. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.